Okay, my friends, here it is, the much requested video on how to store your stockpile of food so that it doesn't go bad. Now, this is following the last video that I made about 20 foods to stock up on. So watch that video, go and get those foods, and then now here we are with our stock of dried goods. So what are the five main enemies of food storage? It is oxygen, light, humidity, rodents, and temperature to a certain degree. So this method is going to show you exactly how to combat against those so that you can store stuff for up to 20, 25 years or beyond. So there's three levels to this. The first level is the stuff that you use every day. Okay, You use containers like this. They exclude uh, the oxygen. That's the main thing that, that really spoils it. Oxygen and rodents and humidity. So something like this is going to exclude it. And this, you, you keep about as enough to uh, that you're going to use in a month or two months. You know, even six months like this is no problem. This is just an old uh, cashew jar that I had, and uh, I filled it full of lentils. Okay, this is going to keep like this for six months to a year, no problem. All right, just in the pantry. But now the next level is going to be the stuff that is going to store for beyond a year, up until three years or even five years maybe, uh, and that is going to be the stuff that we fill these containers from. So we'll use this for a couple months and then we'll fill, fill them with this container. Uh, and for that we just use a food grade five gallon bucket. Okay, uh, I like the food grade, they're, they're more sturdy, they're, uh, they're not as flimsy as the other one. And we're just going to use an easy to remove lid. You see how easy that goes on like that and it just can peel right off. Uh, there's no o-ring inside of this of this one, but that's okay because um, it, It's just medium-term storage and in there. We're gonna keep uh, dried beans from the garden good mother stollard beans um, Cave beans we're gonna keep all the dried stuff uh, in here. Okay oats um, uh, Spaghetti whatever it is you can store it in this way and this is gonna keep out light humidity rodents definitely uh, and this is going to allow you to store stuff for a year and up to five years, probably like this. Um, but then beyond that, okay, so that's like you're rotating stuff. But beyond that, you want to store stuff as a nest egg. This is the 20-year stuff. And here I'm going to show you this method. Now, for this, this is the stuff that we store and we just forget about it, okay? So we're going to use the same food grade five-gallon buckets. We're then going to... Uh, use these heavy-duty mylar bags now these bags listen this is very important the bags have to be the right size because we're gonna fill the whole thing in the five gallon bucket so I'll put links to all this stuff in the description but you want to make sure that they are the 19 by 28 okay because a lot of them will claim to be five gallon but it, it, something is wrong with the measurements and they don't fit they don't fill the five gallon bucket completely. And so you've got all this wasted space inside your five gallon bucket. Get the ones that I linked to in the description and they will fill the whole five gallon bucket. That's important to maximize your space. Okay, so we've got our bucket, we've got our Mylar bag. Now the next thing that we're gonna need to acquire is oxygen absorbers. I'll put a link in the description to all of this, okay? Um, these are 2000 cc oxygen absorbers. These are 500 cc oxygen absorbers. Now, we have to use these, okay? There's no option. Without it, the whole system doesn't work. And so we want to get the appropriate amount. Now, for each five gallon bucket, uh, they, they say 2,000 cc's is enough. I personally like to go overboard because there's no harm to the food in using too much. So go to 3,000. That's what I recommend. 3,000 cc's of oxygen absorption material into each five gallon bucket, okay? And so we're gonna do it like this. Now, real quick, a tip. Don't open these yet because the moment that you open these, they begin working. So leave them in their package. They'll come sealed in packs of 10. Leave them in their package until right the right moment when you have to use it. And I will show you the right moment. So we have our dried goods, we have our bags. Uh, and we have our bucket. We're going to just open the bag, put it into the bucket nice and gently. You see how it really fills the whole bucket. Okay. Now you want to 
press down in the end and the bottom, you want to press it down into the bottom of the bucket. You want to make, make sure that it is nice and pressed all the way down there because you don't want any empty space. Okay, You want to fill up as much stuff as you possibly can into each of these buckets. So now we have it pressed down in there. Now we're going to fill our material of choice and you can store almost anything this way. Pasta, flour, oats, wheat berries, um, beans, rice, lentils, all this stuff doesn't matter. Okay, you can store it all. But for this example purposes, uh, I'm going to use this blanket because uh, I don't like wasting supplies. So uh, now you're just going to stuff your stuff in there. Okay, and these uh, these bags are really tough, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're a little bit rough with it, okay? They're very tough. So pour your beans, your rice, your lentils, whatever it is, pour it into there and pack it in there good, okay? So we've got it right up to the level with the five gallon bucket. Now, here's the part. These bags store, that they're made in such a way that all you have to do is heat it to store it. So in order to do that, we are gonna take the flat iron, the straightening iron, we're gonna turn it on high and we are just going to squeeze onto it and slide it across and seal the thing. But before we do that, now is when we put in the oxygen absorber. So if you're gonna do a number of them, and this is what I recommend, do all your food storage at once. Get the bucket to this point, okay? A bucket of beans to this point. Get a bucket of lentils to this point. Get a bucket of rice to this point. Get a bucket of oats to this point. Get all the buckets that you want to this point. Then open your oxygen absorbers. Open them up and they're going to immediately begin working. Drop 3,000 into each bucket like that. Then immediately fold it like this. Squeeze out the air that you can and Hold it right here like this and then let's try and get a close-up we're just going to take our flat iron that is on high and we're going to press it right onto there and just slide it across that's it now we're just going to take our it can be a little bit tricky at first especially if you're trying to like show it on a video you know but uh, you just flatten it like this You see how I'm just moving along? You don't want to keep it on there too long, otherwise you'll, you'll burn it. But uh, now, you just finish her off like this. Run it through a couple of times, and you will see very clearly. Now it's hot, okay, it's very hot. But uh, you will see, you can look on there and see that there is no leaks, there's no air gaps. Do you see the reflection? There's no little wrinkles that go all the way through. I flattened all that stuff out. You see it here? Now you wanna make sure that there's no wrinkles going all the way through, and there's not here. So now you're going to just leave that just like that, okay? And what that's going to do, now that it's nice and secure, what that's gonna do is it's gonna, through a chemical reaction, it's gonna draw out all the oxygen that is in there and it's gonna suck up real tight to the substance that's in there. So let me show you. This is a uh, bucket that I have, have already done, 35 pounds of jasmine rice. Now, I'm gonna take it off just so that I can show you guys. Uh, this is the, the thing that comes on the lids. That's why I like to use these lids, because you know if they've been opened or not. And they're really, really sturdy lids. You see, I'm trying to get this off. You want them, that's why this is the long-term storage one because this is kind of a pain to get into. Uh, but this is not your rotating stock pile. Your rotating stock has the easy on and off lids. Now, here we are. This is one that I did two years ago, okay? And we've got it to the point where uh, all the air was squeezed out of it, we sealed it up, and now it's just setting to the side. Now you let it sit overnight and about overnight to 24 hours, it's going to zap all the oxygen out of there. Do you see how you can literally see the grains of rice in this? It's so sucked up against the material that it's not moving. I mean, you're pressing on it, it's not moving. It's like solid block. Now that is what you wanna see. 
You have to see that. If you don't, if it just remains all fluffy, that means it didn't work right. That means probably either your oxygen absorbers were bad, which can happen, especially if you lollygag around too much after you open them, then they've, then they've lost their thunder. So uh, you have to see this, okay? If you don't see this, you gotta do it over. Uh, that means, like I said, the oxygen absorber is bad or the, um, your seal was not good enough. That means that you skipped the spot in your seal, all right? So you just go through uh, and seal it again. Now, this stuff, just take another good look, okay? That's what you gotta see. It's gotta be so tight on there. There's no oxygen in there, okay? And then once you're done, you just fold the lid in there and uh, put the lid on. Now, with these lids, you see? how they have this thing, this uh, strip that you saw me tear off, you will just put it on there and boom, 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 pound it on with a mallet. And then that is good for 20 years, okay? That is good basically indefinitely. Anything short of a human or a bear is not getting into this. Um, now, real quick, if you find that your uh, Bag, that your bag did not seal, okay? This bag has a hole in it anyways, so that's why I'm using it for example purposes. If you find that it didn't seal, it's okay because this stuff, this material, uh, can be resealed. So all you have to do is just, you just cut it exactly where you want it. See, I just tore it like that. Now it's open, wide open. Now we've got our blanket in there. Now I'm going to, I, I'm saying this is troubleshooting if, if, you, if it didn't seal right. Then you will put in uh, 3,000 more cc's of oxygen absorbers, do the same thing over, and you just go boom. You just take your flat iron and you seal it on up. This thing, this stuff can be sealed at any point al along the way. So that's what's cool. But now do not, do not sit there and press on and hold it for any length of time because you will melt it. It has to be moving the whole time. Do you see how I'm moving it across this thing the whole time? Boom, there we go, it's done. Now, we're gonna set that aside. That's gonna suck out all the oxygen in 24 hours. You're gonna see the grains and you're gonna see it sealed. Once you see it nice and sealed, you pound on your airtight lid, label it 35 pounds, jasmine rice, or whatever it is, and you are good to go, my friends. Now, I can hear already some of you are saying, well, what if I, can't, what if I don't wanna store five gallons of it? That's fine, neither did I. So they make these one quart bags as well. These operate in the exact same way. For the one quart bags, you only need 500 cc's. Even that's overkill. I do everything overkill though, but it's better overkill than not. So uh, for, for these one quart bags, which I'll link in the description, you just put in 500 cc's. And then you, uh, even though they've got zip ties, you could just zip it, but I like to zip it and then seal it in the same exact way with the flat iron. And this is how I store stuff like that. You see this? These are all sea salt in this in this um, bucket. So you just got sea salt, you got the pink Himalayan salt, and you can store anything this way. Uh, smaller amounts of beans or, or seeds, if you wanna store seeds for planting wheat, uh, whatever it is that you wanna store, and then just put them still in the five gallon bucket, just individually. And then we're going to just take our lid, pound it on with a mallet, and it's good to go. So there you have it, my friends. That is how you create a nest egg for yourself. This stuff is the stuff that just goes into the basement and you forget about it just in case, okay? It will give you peace of mind. This other way is how you go about uh, using the stuff in your day-to-day -day life, okay? So if you gained something from this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this kind, uh, let me know in the comments. This is not in any way going to be a prepping channel, but all of this is totally relevant to gardening, to growing like a Viking not gardening like a butterfly. It's all about feeding yourself no matter what, okay? So, uh, yeah, a big thank you to the people who have used the link in the description to make a small financial contribution to my PayPal account. Very appreciated, helps inspire me to make more content uh, that you guys wanna see. So, let me know what you wanna see uh, in future videos.